Welcome to this Engerati interview. I'm Rose Bundock, Head of Commercial Content. I'm joined now by Pierre-Antoine Machelon, Hello. Managing Director of Eiffel Investment Group. Welcome. Thank you. Eiffel Investment Group is, has quite a large portfolio within energy efficiency. I was just wondering if you can give us a, a picture of the size in value and the types of projects within it. Yeah. The fund itself is a 200 million euro fund. So rather big, uh, but what we're doing is really getting into the programs themselves that are maybe one million euro size project. So having quite a lot of granularity in, in our fund. What kind of returns are you seeing on those smaller projects? These small projects would bring good returns, so above five percent. This is our target in the in the fund. Uh, the problem being not really this percentage, but the, the fact that this project may be small in their size, so really the, ta the, the target of the fund is to get to these small projects, help, help them well, come to the surface. I mean, you're obviously doing a lot of due diligence on the type of projects that will get that type of return. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a couple of examples of things you have in your pipeline? Yeah, it can be simple things like relamping, so replacing the lights and having that for a plant or for a municipality and that's good for 10 years, 15 years, a lot of value there. Uh, you can have changing the heating system, um, changing um, the aircon or the ventilation system, things that are quite simple actually. Um, it's not big technology bet. It's just simple things. So, I mean, you obviously see a value there. I mean, for the commercial industrial user, there's a, a business case. Yeah. E-regulators are wanting more cuts in energy consumption. So, why isn't uh, retrofitting happening on a much bigger, wider scale? Because you come there with projects that are not 20, 30 million euro projects, but maybe as low as uh, one tenth of this or one twentieth of this. Uh, so you need to attract the finance suppliers to something that are not, they're not that used to. And this is creating the issue and that's why we're there. Uh, really to, to tackle this and having, not trying to duplicate all system uh, ways of financing. Uh, renewable energy is also part of your yep. portfolio. What's the, you know, what's your treatment of, of the two parts? Well, How what we differ? hope for is that at the end of the day, or actually at the end of the decade, because we are there for 10 years, all this will be one. I mean, having panel on the roof and having a f uh, heat system or a, um, f um, a cold system using the power of the panel on the roof and being able to do that because they can use the power at 4 a.m. in the morning but also at 12 or at 4 p.m. in the afternoon doesn't, doesn't make a, small, a big difference. So there's a real integration between the two, between renewable energy and uh, smart energy consumption. That's the vision and for the moment you're right, it's two quite distinct areas that we are, we are there to fund. Um, renewable energy projects usually are a bit of a bigger size, but sometimes small. And energy efficiency is more an immature uh, sector in terms of financing, although technology is very mature. I mean, obviously you've got ESCOs playing in this space. What about the energy retailer? I mean, where do they fit into this? Could they be offering those types of services that an ESCO is? So no, they have to. But it's not that easy for them because they have to change the culture and you know that changing the culture takes years, takes decades. Because instead of selling kilowatt hour, they have to sell a service, so they have to sell the capacity to consume less of what they were being paid before for. So that, that's not that easy for them. Now they are smart, they're doing it, but it's, it requires a lot of change. And that's why smaller companies can play a role being really real challengers, being really promoters of a change in the, in the system. And 
that's when we're in connection with these ESCOs to help them make a breakthrough, uh, implementing their projects. And if they need, and if they want to implement the project, they need the financing. And that's why we're there. Yeah, I mean, we're here at the CEF Investor Day, mm -hmm. which specifically is helping those small, medium-sized companies. Mm -hmm. um, where, what value do you see in the initiatives going on here? Because you, you, you're saying it, uh, small, medium-sized players. Talking to small, medium-sized players, y you need intermediaries. And what could be better than a platform to do that? I think it's, it's, it's really the value I'm seeing in CEF. It's cut, connecting people uh, because we definitely need it. Uh, you can know, CEF will help you uh, talk to a small company in another country from yourself, but really having the same concept in, the, in their mind as you have. So that's where the value is. It's a great value. It's a real value. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for joining us. You've been watching the Engerati studio. Um, you can find plenty more energy efficiency videos on our YouTube channel. Goodbye for now.